Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting intermediate programming tutorial. This is Turing and now before I start again, I had another problem with my mic and it cut off last time when I was trying to record this. So let's just do this quick because I'm really getting uh, uh, annoyed with this. Alright, so today what we're going to do is we're going to learn something called random int. Now, what this does is that it generates a pseudo random number uh, for a variable that you declare for it. So let's just get started. So the command is rand int, rand int, and a variable and a start value and an end value. So we're just going to put this into use. I'm going to start by making a variable called x or actually num, and then set it to integer, and then I'm going to come down here and write random int. For the x, uh, for the oh, sorry, I keep saying x. For the uh, number value or number um, variable, so you write your variable in first. Then the the minimum number, which I'll set one, comma the maximum number, which I'll set ten. Uh, close bracket, and then down here I'll write put random number is space comma num, and then when I run this three. 7, 7, 10, 6, and it basically just generates a random number. So now this is really applicable in a lot of ways, and I'm going to show you one of which, which is I'm going to write the variable x and y and col. I'm going to set them to integers. Um, color for x for x position and y for y position, the col for color. I'll, uh, now I'll just make a for loop for i. Um, one dot dot. I'll put 50 shapes in. I'll write uh, random int for color first. I'll do that. In col. I'll do it from a variable one, uh, from a, a um, from a number one to a number of 255, which is that's how many colors there are. If you didn't see my last video, that's where I showed you. Um, random, yeah, random int. The, the, I keep messing up. Okay, random int x1 and then since in that output window there's 640 pixels on the x-axis and 480 on the y-axis x is 1 and then I'll set the maximum value to 640 random int y1 and then 480 so now if uh, I'll come down here and write draw fill box and I'll set the x to x minus 5, x to uh, y to um, y minus 5, then x to x plus 5, and then y to y plus 5. And then we'll make a random color as well. And then I'll end the 4 by pressing control enter and then F2 to indent it because that's always good. You press F2, boom. Now you have randomized shapes. They always randomize themselves. So now, if I do this again, I can also do it like 50 each time, like this. And now we got bigger shapes coming in. And now I can even take this, like, let's just undo that. I can even make this like 500. So now you have like 500 shapes. And now you can also do something where you make like a loop here, and you end the loop, and we can just press F2 to indent, and then boom. It really like lags you. You can also see it less here, so that it just randomizes them. So that's this is a really, really um, like applicable program uh, to use. Uh, it's a really uh, good like. It, there's a lot of uses for this. Come on, like who doesn't want a bunch of confetti everywhere? Okay, so that's basically it for this, guys. Um, if you guys liked it, please like and comment and whatever else that people on YouTube do. And I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial. The code is in the description. Peace.